This is a fun animation trick that you can implement in Fusion. So our composition only really has three elements here. We've got a blank background node, we've got an outer circle, and we've got a center circle. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply our, I guess we'll call it like our blending flicker, our light flicker transition on the center circle here. Now I will say that in order for this effect to work properly, you will need to operate on a merge node or some kind of node that has some blending slider. So for instance, on the merge node, we have our blend slider. You could also attempt to do this on a dissolve node where you're sliding back and forth between the background and foreground, or even with, you know, like some of these shapes and the ellipses, you have a level slider here that changes the fullness of that shape, but you need some kind of slider property that uh, changes the opacity in essence. So for merge nodes, we can go over to the settings tab and we can play with our blending slider here. And the one trick that makes this work is a modifier. Now, if you're not familiar with a modifier, they are essentially advanced settings in the Fusion page. So I can right click on our blend slider here, go modify with and then, whoop, go modify with and then shake. You could also do this with a perturb modifier or something. You can play around with some of the other ones as well. The shake modifier is the one that I'm going to use. And if you've never used the shake modifier before, essentially what it does is it adds randomness to whatever property that you give it, and it will generate random values between whatever the minimum and maximum values that you provide. So right now it's gonna bounce between a value of zero and one. So if I go over to the tools and I jump back and forth and you keep an eye on this property over here, you'll notice it's gonna bounce back and forth between zero and one. So what we're gonna do is we're going to keyframe our minimum and maximum values. And the way that we're gonna do is actually kind of cool because it'll give you a lot of control for how this thing flickers on. So I would like this to be a two second animation. I'm on a 30 FPS timeline, so I'm at frame 60. I'm gonna put a keyframe on our minimum and maximum value on our shake property. If you don't see your shake property, make sure you're in the modifiers tab. And then I'm gonna go back to our composition, set another keyframe, and now, and from here, you have complete control of how you would like to animate this. What I would say is the only requirement for this to settle and fully appear on screen is that when we go over to our ending keyframe on frame 60 for me, we just need to make sure that both the minimum and maximum value are one. What this means is that we are gonna start at a minimum value of zero, maximum value of one. And so what's gonna happen is that the range that the random value can go to uh, is gonna slowly collide at one. So now we have just a solid value of one. There's no more randomness because our range, there is no range, it's just one. So if I were to go to the beginning, you can kind of see it, it just, it almost just like is fading on at this point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change our maximum value to a lower value at the beginning. And I'm gonna do, let's try, let's start at 0.1. Go ahead and scrub forward a little bit. And I think in its current iteration, uh, there's not a lot of flickering. To change that, we need to change our smoothness slider. And the smoothness slider is kind of how fast it bounces back and forth between values. The lower the value, the lower the smoothness. So we could go to like a value of one and see what that looks like. So if I play that still not very quick so let's go let's go really small let's go like 0 0.1 let's play that now that's kind of gonna bounce on a little bit more and what we can also do is uh open up our smile menu go to the curves for minimum and maximum expand this and then we can hit Control a and then f to smooth this out and what you can do here is like let's say for instance i'd like it to remain lower for a longer period of time, but I want the range to increase quickly. So what you can do is you can play with the splines of your minimum and maximum curves to create different kinds of like flickering effects. So let's say, you know, you want vice versa. You'd like it to remain pretty low for a longer period of time. Well, I can go and I can grab my, oops, let me check this off real quick. I can grab my handles for each of them respectively and drag them down. And now we'll stay at a lower value until the very end and then it bursts on screen. Something that's kind of fun with this as well is you'll notice that the actual blend setting isn't toggled on in our spline menu. So if I toggle that on, you can see how this value is changing over time. 
So from here, you could change the reseed value to see if you can't get a curve that you really like. And we can play with our smoothness again, right? To see how it's bouncing back and forth. So if we increase this, see how it's smoother? And then we can get like really, really small so that we get things bouncing back and forth on like a frame level. And if you want, you could also even start the maximum value at zero as well. And as long as you're smart with how the spline behaves, it'll actually start at an opacity of zero and then slowly flash on screen. Hope that was able to help you guys. Just a reminder that this is the second channel. My main channel is more editing focused and less fusion specific. And if there are any questions, feel free to leave a comment or the discord is always a good place to ask.